Hey guys, got a one year crash test video on a Skyler Quintel in black goat skin. Now this is the ESV translation as it says here on the spine. And I'm really pumped to bring this to you guys. Um, I've been using this Bible every single day for about a year now. And uh, I wanted to show you how it's been breaking in, how it's been holding up after a year of daily use. So let's get into it. Looking at the cover, I will say this, that you can barely tell this Bible's been used. Uh, it looks almost the same as it did coming out of the box. Now, there might be a few small scratches here and there, but none, none that I can truly see. Uh, I will say that the leather has really, you know, gotten softer and more flexible since getting this Bible and using it uh, last year. But other than that, the Bible itself, as far as the leather goes, has not sustained any damage. Now, I want to show you some comparisons with some other Quintels that I have. This Bible right here is the Quintel. Uh, same Bible, same ESV, of course, in Br at British Tan Goat Skin. Now, this Bible has not been used. I've flipped through it here and there, but I have not used it, as I will be using it years to come down the road. But as you can tell, there really isn't much difference in the leather. Of course, the color and the grain might be a little different, but as far as wear and tear... There's no substantial um, identifying marks on this one that this has been used. As far as the quality goes, it looks the exact same. Here's another one right here with the slate goat skin. Again, that same beautiful goat skin, no markings whatsoever. You can tell that this used Bible is the exact same, looks unused. Now, these Bible covers are a bit, uh, they're not as flexible yet. They're a bit tighter, um, but they will soften up over time. So as far as the leather goes on the front, back, and spine, no wear or tear whatsoever. The stamping has not faded whatsoever in this Bible. And the ribs, of course, have no, um, no fading or cuts or anything like that. Opening up this Bible, let's look at the inner cover. There has been no damage whatsoever to the gilding. It's all still as gold as it was when I got it. The stitching is staying strong and true. The uh, end sheet right here has, you can tell this Bible's been used. It's got some foldings, some, some um, you know, creases and stuff like that. That's going to happen. Um, going forward to the text block itself. Um, you, you can notice that there is a little bit of separation right there kind of starting to happen. Um, there was down here as well, and I put some glue in it. So that has, that has been one downfall of this Bible over the past years. There has been some separation between the, the end sheets and the text block. Nothing that, nothing that a little glue won't help. Um, but there it is again kind of coming apart right there um, as well. But that's not too big of an issue. Now, it is concerning to me because it's only been a year, so I hope that doesn't, you know, increase as the years to come. That's my goal and my desire. We'll have to see how that, that does over the next year in the two-year crash test video that I will put out next year. Moving forward to the text block itself, um, one of the big reasons I, I never used to like Skyler is because the paper was so thin. Um, it's very thin, 28 GSM paper. Um, it took me some getting used to, to be honest with you. Um, but now I never want to go back to 36 GSM personally. Um, I don't know, I don't know why or what has changed in me, but I, I committed to this Bible for a year and I said, you know what, the paper's thin, but I think if I use it a bit, I'll get used to it. And I surely have gotten used to it. Um, now I do not highlight or write in this Bible. Um, so I can't tell you as far as how that would go. Um, I just can't bring that into this crash year or cr crash test video because I have not um, written or highlighted in this Bible. You will notice a few markings. Um, I personally do not like highlighting my Bibles anymore because what I do when I do that is I'm marking it because of a specific revelation that God gave me. Well, we all know that that verses are like hidden treasure and you can keep mining a single verse throughout your entire life and find new and, and beautiful things about Jesus. And so for me, highlighting kind of hinders that. If I have a highlight, uh, you know, a highlighted verse with a note, 
I'm gonna, it's gonna be a lot harder for me to, to receive new revelation on that verse. So that's why I don't highlight or write in this Bible. But I do have various Bible symbols that mark and identify certain parts of Scripture. Here is a M with a cloud, which speaks of Jesus' second coming. This up and down arrow in pink is prayer. So these are passages I pray. Um, going forward, you know, you'll see little symbols throughout the Bible. There's a heart right there. And I find this to be a very efficient way to make notes without making actual notes. Because anytime I see a little Bible symbol, um, I will... Oh, okay, that's what this passage is about. There's the M with the solid circle for the first coming of the Messiah. First coming of Jesus. So I love that. Now the gilding, um, when I got this Bible, was a dark red. Here I'll pull the uh, other quintel to kind of show you the differences. So you'll see differences in both of these Bibles. This one, of course, has a darker red um, under gold or under silver in this Bible. This one had this same uh, coloring. It had the same, uh, you know, um, shade and everything. But over time, it has kind of worn down. However, it is still better than Crossway. I still love the, the richness of that red under gold there. Um, it has taken some, some stains over time. I think this was due to a raindrop in the rain. It's got some scratches on the gilding, which are going to be common for use. Not a big deal for me. I personally love having a Bible that, that shows wear and tear because it means that I've used it. It means that I love using it. Here, I've got a little stain with um, some pomegranate juice. Kind of funny story about that. I was reading Song of Solomon, um, studying this Bible, or I'm sorry, studying this letter, this song, this book, and uh, I was eating a pomegranate, and pomegranate juice got on, I'm trying to find it here, where is it at? Pomegranate got on the page. I think there's some right there. Um, there's a little bit right there. So pomegranate juice got on this page. Uh, there's there's some more down there in the corner, which is funny because pomegranates are spoken of throughout this throughout this song. So thought it was kind of funny. Um, and I, I I love little stains. I again I'm not going to put them on there intentionally, but if a Bible gets a stain on a page here and there. As I'm using it, I don't tend to lose a lot of sleep on it. This one right here got a little wet. This page got a little wet here. And you can see that there's some, some folding in the page. Um, there's even some, some marking right there. Um, and again, when this happened, I wasn't too upset because a Bible should get wear and tear as you use it. So overall, this paper is very strong. I can even lift this Bible up with one page. I'll show you right here. Look at that. By one page. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing that a lot because you don't want to mess with the binding, but that's how strong this paper is. 28 GSM, but it can lift up an entire Bible. Um, it's durable. It's meant to last. Um, so the paper, as far as the paper goes and the wear and tear it's taken, I love it. I think this Bible's going to be with me for many years to come. The paper is going to last a long, long time. It was made to last. Um, very strong paper. Um, going back to the back, I'll kind of show you the maps. Now, I don't use these maps very often, so I have not gotten a lot of wear and tear in these. Um, I'm not against maps, but I just don't use them very often. Going back to the back of the Bible, this Bible does not come with lined notebook paper, um, but I wish it did. You'll notice here that there's kind of some, some bleeding on the gilding. Now, this was not something that, it didn't come this way, but I, I do believe it got a little wet and it did bleed through. Again, not a huge deal for me. I love a used Bible. Here I've got some prayers I've written on these pages. Um, they're kind of beaten up a little bit because I use it so often. Um, these thicker cardstock pages. I've got prayers and verses and so on and so forth. I've got a places used or traveled log which I do in all my Bible, in all of my Bibles. So here you'll see um, where I've used it. 
we have prayer meetings at my church, so I, I take it to prayer meetings, I take it to coffee shops. Um, I teach with it, um, you know, teaching small groups, um, taught at communion service, children's ministry, took it on a few trips, as you can see there. Um, took it that my sister-in-law was in the hospital for a accident, took this to the, to the hospital and prayed, you know, out of this Bible and various other things in there. And so I love doing that. Now, when I got the Bible, the back here, the back end sheet was kind of coming up. Uh, whenever they made this Bible, I guess the glue was not done well right here. And it, it was kind of starting to peel up. And so I saw that as being a structural potential break in the Bible. So what I did was I took some glue and I glued it myself and it's held up very well over the past year. And if I have to keep doing that, no big deal. I do expect that this Bible will increase in the wear and tear, especially on the edge lining and uh, other places in the Bible. But guys, overall, man, this Bible has lasted me very, it's, it's done very well for me. Um, there's very minor concerns as far as the structural integrity of this Bible and how it's going to last in the next year. Um, Skylers are meant to last. They're actually, in my opinion, the best Bible on the Bible market to use, um, especially in ministry. You know, I use this Bible every single day, whether I'm working or I'm off. You know, when I'm off, I, I simply read this Bible. I use it to, to study and, and to read and to talk to Jesus. And then, of course, in my daily uh, duties as a minister, I use this Bible very, very frequently. Um, last thing to mention, the ribbons. This comes with three bearers for ribbons. I did singe the ends to keep it from um, coming coming undone. Just took a little lighter and kind of singed it, and they've been doing really well for me. Um, the, the ribbons are kind of a bit, you'll see here, um, I, maybe you can't tell in the in the video, but these ribbons right here do seem a little bit dirtier. They seem a little bit darker than these ones because these are, these are new and they haven't been used. Again, you know, when I take my hands, there's dirt, oils, they all, that all rubs off on the, uh, on the ribbons. But yeah, guys, this Bible has been with me for a year. It's been with me through a lot. I love it. I cannot wait to continue to use it in the years to come. I will drop a link in the description below to pick up this Bible on evangelicalbibles.com. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.